We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Yo, what up? This is Sand Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. This IE Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the real host, Coach B. When it comes <laughs> to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. And you know, I've realized today, this is why it's so important that every time you show up to Fox Sports 1350, you have your correct uniform Oh, my on. God. Yeah. You are always presentable because you never know when you're going to have guests here. Uh. So... I, I, I am in uniform, ladies, so I want you to know. So I'm excited. We have a special guest in, we have special special guests guests. in the house. Yes, yes. They are the 66ers dance team. They are the, the, the 66ers are affiliated with the Los Angeles Angels. Of, of Anaheim. Yes, they are. For yes, they are. It. One of the biggest sports organizations in the nation. Indeed. You know, so we are re- very honored to have these young ladies in studio with yes, us. Yes, yes, we, And we were talking about you guys before you came on. You guys do a lot of great stuff at 66ers games, as well as Angels games. So step on up to the mic. And let's have you guys and introduce, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Please. The dance team, 66ers dance team. Hi, guys. I'm Melody. Uh-huh. My name is Susanna. And I'm Natalie. Fantastic. Now, now you guys are basically the goodwill ambassadors of the 66ers. So, like, I've been to a couple of games, um, and I've got a chance. And you guys are all over the place, and you maintain the smile, the professionalism. Talk to us a little bit about what your role is at the actual game. So when, when, when Patriots come to the 66ers games, what do they see you guys doing? Well, it's definitely a lot more than just wearing the uniform. Um, We actually come in and we'll work in-game promotions. We'll be there and, like, take a lot of photos with the guests. Like, whether it's little kids that want to take photos with us, we'll be dancing. We do a couple of dances throughout the games um, in mid-innings. Most of the time, uh, we're actually going to be at the games and um yeah it's just like a blast yes yes now now you guys also are really active in the community um if you guys want to just maybe kind of talk to us about what you guys do in the community because you know we follow you guys on social media you guys are all over the place doing great things in the community maybe you could talk about that as well please uh we do a lot of outside events um with charities we do work with the ronald mcdonald's house which is i know it's all of our favorites we yes. love working with them um we just do a lot of community events wherever we're needed you know we all enjoy it with a smile on our face whether it's at seven in the morning or eight (laughs) at night we're all there ready to entertain or ready to just hang out with everyone right we we enjoy it we love what we do indeed and you guys are doing it obviously right now coming in early on a saturday (laughs) you know looking apart now uh we've been a part of um uh we've actually seen uh we we recorded one time one of the auditions so tell us one of the uh the process about how it works like the preparation of being uh, a sixty one one a, a member of the sixty sixers dance team. Maybe you can kind of talk about how that works. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a very rigorous process. It takes about five hours initially. Um, we're there basically all day and we're practicing. We go across the floor and we actually learn a routine. You're put into a couple of groups, about like ten maybe, depending on the size of girls that show up. Um, and then you're just running the choreography over and over again. You get a chance to really um, show off any cool tricks that you have, but it is like a long process because you do have to have the experience that is required. You know, it's right. a lot more dance based and cheer based, and you know we have a very like uh, uni- like a very universal team. Right. Um, so we definitely like try to like pick at like the things and like see what we can get out of. Um, any um, auditioners, essentially, yeah. Indeed. Um, no, just we and I know Coach B had a oh, couple. Oh, no, no, go ahead. You got it. So I want to just gonna I, take I wanted, my shine. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk to you real, uh, just briefly. Like, how you felt? Like, what does it feel like to be a part of the team? Because, again, I mean, obviously you went through a process of getting there. Um, so, you know, you know, you have to go through, as, as the young lady mentioned, it's a process of going through competition and so forth. What is it? What did it mean to you to just actually say, hey, you know what? I'm on the team, and I'm a part of something now. It was really exciting, like, getting chosen and being able to be on the team. And I think the best part about it is when you see, the like, the little girls and the little boys even that come up to you at the game. Oh, can we have a picture? Right. Oh, can you sign this for me? Mm-hmm. And at first, like, being a new member, you're like, 
Oh, I'm not sure, but you know, you ask their parents, oh, is it okay right, if I right. sign this hat for them? Right. And just they light up on their faces, and even the programs that they hand out, all of our headshots are in it. Nice. So they're like, can you sign where you are? Right. So it's, I think that's the best part, and it just it gives you so much, like, at least for me, I love, like, the kids. That's my favorite part of the team. It gives you so much happiness and pride to know that you're making their day better. Nice. So, that's always what I like to do. Fantastic. And that's good stuff. And once again, we're live in studio on Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal, i.e. Sportsnet. And we are joined in studio by the Inland Empire 66ers dance team. Now, one thing that I, I you know, I will say, full, dis, full discretion, I've been out here for over 10 years. Yes. We, we bought the house. Uh, my daughter was one of those one of those kids that I, I remember. <laughs> I have to find the picture. When my daughter was maybe eight or nine. She took a picture because she used to cheer for uh, a football team I coached. So she took a picture with the dance team as well. So, yes. so that was always good. And you guys, like we said, we do a lot of things in the community. And, and I just want to talk about it. It's almost Independence Day. It's almost time for the 4th of July. Can Very you guys close. tell us a little bit about the uh, the 4th of July fireworks show that you guys are going to do and, and how excited the community is going to be about that event. Uh, the 4th of July show is probably the biggest game of the year. We get the mm-hmm. biggest crowd turnout, and it's just so amazing to see the community come together. All Like you know, Natalie was saying, all the kids are just so excited. So we, you know, we come up with a couple dances that are 4th of July themed that everyone seems to really like. Uh-huh. Nice. And then um, the best part of the show is the uh, the fireworks at the end. So it's it's about maybe like a 10 minute show, but it's really exciting and it lights up the whole city and everyone seems to really love it. It's a really big game. Nice. And that's that's going to be a good thing because you think about it, it's San Bernardino. Right. And, and it's, it's one of those things where people can come and they can enjoy an event. And I, I don't know if, if fireworks are legal. In, I think they are legal in San Bernardino. Oh yeah, I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but that's going to be a great event. But but my question is, I just want to ask, and maybe I, Byron can ask, answer this. He's uh, uh, the advisor for the, uh, the the dance team. Do I have to make the dance team to get one of these nice jerseys? <laughs> I mean, because those jerseys are, yeah, are really, are not, really but, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, they did a, they, they changed the, the, the uniform a couple of years back, but I really like them now. they got, got like the oil stain on it. Yes, so yeah. it's a part of the logo. So nice. I like that. So the 4th of July, you guys are going to be playing Stockton. Um, I believe that's the team that you guys are going to play against. But, you know, one question I want to ask you guys as well. Um, when you were when you went through the process and you guys were selected, do we have any – who's first-timers? Okay. So what was it like when you when you was like, I, Mama, I did it. I, I made it. <laughs> um, I think it was really cool to be able to, like, run to my parents and be like, I made the team. There you, you know, go. I did it. Because, um, like Susanna said, the process is not easy. We go through a lot of training. Even after auditions, we go through a lot of training, and we're constantly being evaluated and stuff like that. So it's it's really fun to be able to go to your parents and your family that uh-huh. see you there at the games and be able to say, hey, I'm on this team. I'm mm-hmm. making a difference in this community with the children that come and watch us and how excited they get. So it's really fun to be able to show your family like, that you can do it. That, and remember, Eternal, it was, I think, three or four years ago, we were there. We saw the tryouts. Oh, man. I, I, mean, I got tired, and I wasn't even doing anything. Well, you know, it, it's funny, because, uh, again, we have uh, just, uh, just also, as well as the 66ers dance team, we have uh, we have uh, Byron here, uh, who is, uh, like, takes care of the, the management side of the, the business. And uh-huh. we also have Erica, who assists the, the, uh, the dancers as well. Um, in terms of the the executive, portion. I know there's an event coming up that they want to to talk well, about. Well, that's what we're talking about. So we're talking. It's, it's going to be the July Fourth Extravaganza. Uh-huh. So it's a fireworks show uh-huh. and everything. So now I want to ask the young ladies again. What it, now? Because because you who's who's actually been there last year? Who got a chance to see it last year? Okay. So All of us, so yeah, so everybody. so talk. Oh, so you were there before you even or, or part of the dancing. Yeah. Oh, that's that's, that's pretty cool. She's like she's like I'm gonna get out there yeah, next right. year. I will be out there. I've been on the team. She's been on the team for a year. Oh, there you go. There you go. She's the newest member. Okay, okay. Yes, oh, yes. got it, got it. So, so, like, now, did you guys have actually seen it happen? Prepare our audience for what they're going to see. So, they, when they come there, what are they going to see when they get there? When they get to the game? To, to, the, to the game for the Ju- July 4th event. Okay, yeah. So, when they get to the game, I mean, they, it, just set aside that it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> but when they do come to the game, you know, it's just everybody is out there. There's lawn chairs all over the, like, actual fields and right. stuff and, like, the stands. Like, there's not even really any rooms in the stands because it's such a big game that the nice. entire community shows up. Wow. And so, you know, there's funnel cakes. You walk in, you smell funnel cakes. You <laughs> um, go out and, like, you go get a hot dog and stuff, you know. Yes. And it's, like, so much fun. And, like, you just – you already – 
know the second that you're going in that you're going to see like so many people, like basically right. the entire community. Wow. That's good stuff. And, and, really, and it, when you get to the game, the first thing you see is the, is, is the dance team. Yeah, exactly. They're yeah, there. Yeah, they're, 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 they're getting you excited. So, so yeah. And then uh, you, you had No, some, please. And, and tell me again, it's, it's, you guys are the Inland Empire six, uh, 66ers uh, dance team. But what is it like when you guys get a chance? I see you at Angels games. How, how great is that? Oh, wow. Because you're, you're the only local affiliate, I think, of the Angels, and you guys are out there doing stuff. How cool is that? It's really cool. It's really fun to be able to represent them and yeah. just go to the Angel Games and see, like, wow, this is what I represent. This is right. what I'm here for. So I, I enjoy it. We all do. We love it. We right. think it's the best job to have, honestly. It doesn't even feel like a job. It feels yeah. like, you know, the greatest thing in the world. There you go. <laughs> go Halos. So, again, we have the 66ers dance team here, and I want to make sure I, we, we plug this correctly. It's going to be July 4th. The fireworks extravaganza. Fireworks extravaganza. So it's going to be the. It's going to be a great thing. It starts at well, game time is at seven oh five. So you guys want to make sure. And again, this is at San Manuel. What's the field? What's the stadium? I want to make sure we say it correctly. It's San Manuel Stadium. Okay, San Manuel Stadium. And I tell you, I, 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 you know, although we have there's a couple of different affiliate baseball major league affiliates that are here in town. That's one of my best places. I, I really right. enjoy. I right. really enjoy going there. I mean, a lot of my uh, we have family, we have friends that are in San Bernardino. They all talk about the great experience when they go to that that stadium there. Right. Really, really nice setup. It's an it, oasis. It is. It really is. So, so again, ladies, thank you so much for making time for us today. Thank you for having us. We are, we appreciate it. And how, now, now, if, if folks want to get information, two things, uh, real quick. If they folks want to, uh, there's some young ladies that are aspiring. Uh, to be associated with the 66ers uh, dance team. How do they do that, please? Yeah, they can definitely reach out to uh, me as a team captain. I do actually run the social media as well. Fantastic. Our social media, you can follow us on Instagram. It's going to be 66ers dance team, 66-E-R-S-D-A-N-C-E-T-E-A-M. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can go ahead and follow that. And, like, we put out, you know, the freshest news out there so they can follow when we are holding auditions or when we're just taking applications right definitely or they can go ahead and email me as well which uh, my email is um Susanna worth at iCloud.com. Fantastic. Yeah. And again, thank you, ladies. Again, Sorry about so that. Much. I stepped on someone's shoe. Oh, yeah. and, and if you want to see the team, get news on the team, it's IE66ers. That's IE66ERS.com. Byron, is there anything that we need to plug? I want to make sure we do this correct. <laughs> no, make sure we get guys. it right. Thank I like it. He has a nice Angels logo oh, yeah. on there. I oh, like yeah. it. I like it. And again, Erica, thank you so much for making yourself available. Ladies, appreciate it. We really appreciate it. And again, thank we will you. we will make our if, if some one of us is gonna be there. Yeah. Because I know we have we have we have a we have a we have a prior uh, engagement that we have to do one of us has to do at least uh but one of us will be there and again you guys want to make sure you come out again that's going to be july 4th uh game game time is at 705 and who are you guys playing again i'm sorry Stockton. 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 And it, it don't even matter. They're going to they get whooped anyway. You know what I mean? It's going to be a 66 beat down. But again, I'm sorry, please. And the doors, the gates open at 6, um, and we'll be there at the gates to greet everybody. Oh, wow. Always. Yeah, they, 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 she, she's a professional. She wants to do her plug. Exactly. You're sitting here stepping I'm on her about, Yeah, I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm messing up her shine. Okay? And before we do go, ladies, please give us your names please. once again so everybody can hear it. I'm Natalie. I'm Susanna. And I'm Melody. Thank you for listening. Oh, there you, right. see, fantastic. Are you trying to take my job? I'm about to say, I'm about to say we're going to get a phone call and say that. that, that we, they, we need, we, maybe we need the ladies instead of y'all. Right, right, right. <laughs> yes. Again, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Thank, I mean, you guys look great. It's early in the morning and on a Saturday. But yeah, they're ready. It looked like they're ready for a seven inning. Uh, uh, yeah. a, a nine, oh, what is it? Seven or nine innings? Hybrid. Nine it, innings. It's nine. <laughs> nine inning. Cold nine inning game. They're ready. We're ready. Uh, uh, he's, Always. He's, he, he, he's not ready for baseball Absolutely. yet. He, he still, Absolutely. He still has football on the brain, but we're Absolutely. ready. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Thank you guys so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank, Thank you. you. So let's go ahead and take a commercial break. We were joined in studio by the Inland Empire 66ers dance team. Yes, indeed. So we appreciate them coming in. You're listening to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sports Net. Every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sports at every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.